Hello, and welcome to my presentation of the Tools on Surface plugin for Trimble SketchUp. My name is Paul Benbo, and I'm with Next Wave Technology. We're a SketchUp authorized training center. Please feel free to reach out to us, info at nextwavetech.com, or you can visit our website, www.nextwavetech.com, or you can call us at 919-459-2333. So let's just jump right in. So the last presentation we had, or the sister presentation of this one, we actually looked at the Google Toolbar and how that was integrated with SketchUp version 8. And in the Google Toolbar we had the add location and we simply clicked on that and we entered in the street address which is in Raleigh, North Carolina, the house I grew up in. And uh, our front yard kind of went down the hill and our backyard kind of went back this way as well. So the high point of the house was this front corner. We did select region. We moved the push pins around to you know, select the desired amount of property. And we did that. It basically dropped the house into SketchUp. So if we look at our layers and we look at the second item on the toolbar as the toggle terrain, and we notice it's basically switching those layers. So the first one is the snapshot layer where everything is basically perfectly flat and we're living in flat land. Uh, this house, we went ahead and adjusted this house and basically made the terrain fit the contour of the property. So you can see that the surface we have now that came in with Google Earth actually does follow. Like I said, the front yard fell off this way and then it fell off even farther in the backyard. So I'll just push this aside. So some handy information that Google gives us, that you know, it's nice it does this. I can take my pencil and grab the finished floor elevation here and simply click here and bring it out the front on the green axis and then across the red axis and then down the blue axis. And that little piece of a line it created, I can simply do an inquiry on that and it will say, whoops, on this one, and it will say that's three feet, you know, four and a half inches. And that's probably about right because when I was a kid when I stood here, you know, I could kind of see the, you know, the front porch, you know, level. So it's kind of nice that this, you know, comes, you know, with Google Earth. Um, Another small thing you could do is take the tape measure and say, well, how far from this neighbor's house is it to this house? You know, it's about 50 feet, and that would be about right. So there's a lot of good information that, you know, Google is giving us for free. You know, the, the, the topology may not be perfect, um, but by the same token, you know, it, it, it was free. Um, and then the last thing we did in our presentation is we took in the model and went up to preview in Google Earth, and we actually looked at Google Earth and did a spin and basically viewed what it would be like to have this in Google Earth. So what I'd like to talk about now is how we could take this model and work with this image. Now the image has a lot of trees on it so maybe what would be desirable would be to not have as many trees and actually draw on top of this surface. So if I click on the surface you notice the red boundary box appears letting me know it's locked so I simply right click to unlock that group. And then I can simply double click to enter that group and now you can see I can select the surface. If I toggle my hidden geometry on and off, you can see the tin or the triangular network that makes that surface possible. And you can see that you know it falls off pretty fast in the backyard. And then we do actually have a you know surface. SketchUp is great for working in things when it's flat, but when things are not flat, you need a different set of tools. And the subject of today's presentation is tools on surface. Tools on Surface is a great plugin. Um, Frito6 created this. Um, so if you basically Google search Tools on Surface or Google search you know, Ruby Depot, something like that, you can actually find this plugin um, on the internet. The beauty of this plugin is it allows us to basically draw right on the contours. So I'm going to simply click the rectangle tool and we can see the rectangle appear and then now I can basically click on the edge of the driveway and as I go down the driveway using the aerial photo as a guide and I can come across and say that's probably about 10 foot wide right there so I can just enter 10 feet so you can be exact with tools on surface and you can see that what's happened is actually split that surface into two surfaces so the the line that I just drew actually follows the contour so to take this a little farther, what I could do is rotate around to the side of my property. I'm going to grab the pencil tool, so the line is the current tool. And I'm going to simply click the end point of that and then bring it over as I approach the house on the green axis. I'm going to come up the hill 
on the cyan axis and then come back across cyan I'm making you know making sure that I was getting right here so these lines do touch and I'm a little short there yep sure enough so I'm gonna add just a little piece of a line don't tell anybody and bring those two together you know what I'll do it the right way better not cheat so I'll grab my line tool endpoint and I'll come across there we go so now I've got this surface actually is subdivided and I can actually remove this line much like I would in SketchUp and I can actually take that line away and see now I've got my driveway and what I might want to do to kind of just you know, finish this example off is grab my arc tool and simply you know there's a little arc here that comes around where the sidewalk is and then I can grab my line tool and kind of follow along the sidewalk as it came into the house and I'm just going to kind of rough this in um, so you can kind of see what's going on as I'll bring this sidewalk back and I'll just touch up on that so see now I have yet another surface and I'll bleed this away so now I have this surface as one surface in SketchUp so now you look at it and say well what I'd like to do is take materials and I'm gonna park this on up here for a minute so I'm gonna grab my asphalt and concrete pick this one and drop it in and see now I can basically paint so if you want to do like you know anything that you want to write on a surface maybe you want to show where a drainage ditch is going to go maybe you want to show where a flower bed is going to be um, you know, really the applications are unlimited so another tool that was written by the same gentleman Frito 6 is joint push pull because what I might want to do is basically take this surface I just created and actually give it a thickness well joint push pull will allow me to do that so if I simply click here click on that and then start to pull it up we can see that I can actually pull multiple faces up at the same time I can give it a number like four for four inches and when I right click I can say done and it basically will build that surface that's multiple things push pulled because the standard SketchUp push pull tool will only push one thing whereas the joint push pull pulled all those surfaces up and actually gave me a thickness to my concrete excellent set of tools so now what I might want to do is go ahead and and draw the yard in so if I bring this around and just take my rectangle tool once again and I'm just going to kind of go up close to the curb here and come across and follow right down the edge of pavement and then go down the backyard because maybe my goal is to not have what I don't need anymore and I can see it's made this one surface so I'll take my materials vegetation grass and then what I might want to do is simply take this surface and just delete it because my goal is just to simply have you know a property and you know my house looks pretty plain you know I could add windows and brick and I could put a door in and I could embellish this but just to make something pretty fast that shows a point of what's possible to do with tools on surface and the Google toolbar this is a pretty good example it was pretty quick and I didn't have to do a lot of work to get that surface to appear I hope you enjoyed my presentation on tools on surface. Once again, this is Paul Benbow with Next Wave Technology. We're an authorized training center and SketchUp consulting company. Please feel free to reach out to us for any needs you have. Uh, we do a lot of training over the internet with web-based tools and we're happy to work with you as well. Thank you again.